explain why the noble gases as a group are very stable. So, uh, we've been using the octet rule or the idea that the noble gases are very stable to, as a guide to help us understand why other elements will join together or exchange electrons so that they end up with the noble gas configuration. But what makes the noble gases so stable? Real, uh, in reality, it comes down to the attractions that they have and where the electrons are located. Right, so if we just take a noble gas, just for example, maybe look at argon. Right, thinking about argon's electron configuration, the electrons that are there are in the first three energy levels. Argon has 18 protons and 18 electrons. Right, so thinking about what the noble gases have is what we could say is given how many protons they have in in the noble in a noble gas, it attracts electrons effectively oh well, we could say to balance its charge so that's kind of the key thing about the noble gases that is that their charge is balanced they have equal quantities of positive and negative right so if i thought about a situation that was a little different. So maybe I had 18 protons and only 17 electrons. Right? That would be a situation where the first and second energy level are full of electrons, but then there's a gap in that third energy level, in that 3P, and with that many positive charges in the nucleus, that's going to be pretty unstable. It's going to be uh, imbalanced in charge and it's going to be able to attract a new electron into that third energy level gap. Right? So if we took an electron away from the noble gases, it would be pretty unstable. Because there's a space for that electron in the outer energy level that's relatively close to the nucleus and experiences a good attraction to the positive charge. Likewise, if we went in the other direction and gave it too many electrons, where would that other electron have to go? So if the third energy level, the 3P, were full, the third energy level isn't full, but the 3P is. So if I have the 3P full, the next place I go is the 4S. Putting an electron into the 4S creates a whole new valence level and it's going to experience a ton of shielding from the first three levels, pushing it and repelling it away. So not only does this again create some charge imbalance, it also creates a situation where that outer electron is extremely loosely held because it's experiencing so much shielding and the amount of positive charge in its nucleus is not going to be able to hold it in. So if we had a noble gas with an extra electron, it wouldn't stay in. It would just get it, it would fall out and get attracted to something else instead. If we had a noble gas uh, with too few electrons, there would be space not ex that wouldn't be experiencing that much shielding where new electrons could go in. So it would be a very attractive toward electron. So filling the noble gas configuration creates a perfect balance. It creates a balance between putting the right number of electrons in to attract to all the positive charge in the nucleus, but not putting so many in that you create a whole new energy level experiencing a lot more shielding that can't effectively attract to the nucleus. So you've got just the right number of positives and negatives to form the best combination of attraction. That's what stability is all about. 
forming attraction and avoiding repulsion. Arranging particles in a way that maximizes the attractions and minimizes the repulsions. 